morning guys welcome for another episode of what I eat in a day on keto diet it's nine o'clock and me and this guy we taking a power walk because I want to incorporate some exercise into my new lifestyle so we're gonna go ahead and then I'll be back and show you what I'm having for lunch Whew. you would say it's only a walk but did I break a sweat man Maybe it's due to the 90 degrees outside. I think that tomorrow we will head out the door at least two hours earlier than today. It's really hot, we gotta avoid the heat. Me and Axel, we are dead. Well, I still wanna do some squats. I'm actually pretty ready for that. Look at my shirt. Drop it like a squat. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my 100th squats for a day. Uh, I actually decided yesterday that I'm gonna do this challenge, that I'm gonna do 100 squats a day for 30 days. I was thinking about making then a progress video about that challenge. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment down below or give it a thumbs up here that I know that you would be interested in seeing that. I would include some pictures before and after and stuff like that. Just let me know if you would be interested in seeing that kind of video. I'm a little out of breath. Well, 100 squats are behind me, and now I'm gonna hop in the shower, make myself a coffee, and I'll check back in with you around lunchtime. Guys, fresh out of shower, it's one o'clock, and I'm gonna break my fast with some great lunch. I just wanna make some tuna salad today, and I will put it on my uh, keto bread I made the other day. So here is my keto bread. I will use a can of tuna, some uh, chopped red onion, some green bell pepper, Instead of mayo, I'll be using avocado today. I will season it with some squeezed fresh lemon and salt and pepper. Today's lunch has 490 calories. 50 grams of protein, 6 grams of net carbs, and 28 grams of fat. For snack today, guys, I'm gonna have this awesome keto peanut butter cookies. I ran down the macros, and each of the cookies has 100 calories, 8 grams of fat, and 2 grams of net carbs. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below for you and I also made a video how to make these so I'm gonna leave the link there as well. These cookies makes excellent keto snack and they really hit the sweet tooth spot so I encourage you to give those a try, they're amazing. Guys, for today's dinner, I'm just gonna throw together some stuff I have in the fridge and freezer. I don't really feel like cooking much, it's really hot. So I spiralized one zucchini and I'm gonna make some little cheesy sauce using blue cheese, butter and heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna season it with little lemon, fresh pepper and salt. And then I have these shrimp I'm gonna add in. And Rob's gonna have this uh, tortellini he wants. So cheesy sauce and shrimp tonight. I'm gonna add one cup of the blue cheese onto the pan, about one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. I'm gonna add half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna use uh, lemon juice from about quarter of a lemon and some pepper. So now when the cheese is melted, I'm gonna pop in the shrimp. Those are cooked frozen ones, so they just need to kind of defrost and heat up and we're gonna be ready to serve. Guys, the dinner was amazing. I was so long craving some cheesy sauce and this really hit the spot. The whole dinner had 593 calories, uh, 38 grams of protein, 6 grams of net carbs and 45 grams of fat. So I think I'm done for today. So we're just gonna take a walk and call it a night. Make some tea and watch some TV. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.